I met Richard Jenny Conangelo, comedian of Hollywood. In Comedy Works, we met several times. Um, we have a little bit of romance. And I started detailing Richard uh, some things about my life. I even show him some pictures of an old magazine where I believe it's a picture of mine when I was a baby. Sha 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 with the portrait of Queen Elizabeth. Unfortunately, when we met, I sensed a lot of um, media powers around us. Uh, everything became very complicated. Anytime I used to say, Anyway, I used to meet uh, Richard Jenny Conangelo, comedian, um, at Comedy Works, and I even had an exchange of emails with him. Um, years went through, I think it was 1999 when I met him, and then the um, last time I saw him, I think it was year 2006. But we met often when he came to Colorado. I'm not gonna get into details about the things we talk about and and um, the attraction that was, you know, between us. I was very slender back then, and I used to live in the gym, just exercise all the time. I, my body was in real good shape, and um, so he felt attraction for me. He was the one that approached me. I didn't approach him; he approached me. He saw me standing in the hall of Comedy Works while I was looking at his advertisements. Then he took me by the hand and brought me back into the room that they stay before they come to stage to perform their comedy. Anyway, he gave me his email address. He even gave me his home address, PO Box. Richard seems to want it uh, to, for me, to try to meet him in different places more than Colorado, the state of Colorado, Denver, Colorado. But I didn't do it. Anyway, the, the story develops, and it's a very long, it's a long story because it was several years that we knew each other. Um, in the meantime, I dated some other guy and uh, he seems like he was upset about it. He was sad about it. Anyway, something happened to me in the year 2000. Um, I was really, really under mental control uh, by the media, the TV, all this kind of stuff. So I went one morning to emergency room because I was feeling something strange in my ovaries, which was something really natural, you know, but I just, I was just so ignorant. So I ran in desperation, controlled by, um, mental control by the media, by the TV, and I thought it was something wrong with me. I, I was having, uh, one of my ovary probably was ovulating and busting something. And then, then I, you know, I just ran in panic to emergency room in, in, uh, um, I would call it Hospital University. When I went in there, I said, I just won. I never had a pet smear in my life. I'm not sexually active. I never had any sex, but I want to find out if there's anything, anything wrong with my ovary. Um, there were some practitioner students in there and they really destroyed me. They destroyed me. So I took a picture of it and this was the first time. There was another second time that I was I was done an orgy by by a doctor, but anyway, um, I took a picture of it and and I didn't know that your pictures in your cellular are not really private. I mean, I think it's not because um, the picture came out real strange. It was not really the way my privates looked like, so it came out really strange. And um, next thing I knew. Um, I mean, this is what I think. I'm not sure what's the whole deal about Richard Jenny. Why he committed suicide, if he really did, which to me, his death remained uh, a mystery, a real mystery. 
because after he died, things got worse for me. I started being persecuted, stolen, vandalized. I even had a house invasion in Central City where by mistake, I was taken to jail for a week and uh, for, for not going to court for a ticket, this traffic ticket. Next thing I knew, my house was invaded and I was stolen thousands and thousands of dollars and personal things. Uh, anyway, uh, I I the whole story is really long, which I have a real, real big case in civil litigation. I uh, never was able to find an attorney because this is the power of Hillary Clinton and the Clintons and the government. They had never allowed for me to have justice, even though I date celebrities and I knew them, people from Hollywood. So anyway, to make the story, uh, the story short, I'm going to continue in another tape.